Hi, I'm Jade Wilson, and I am from the recently new blog, Stuff Jade Made. And um, today I'm going to be doing a three marker challenge, which I've seen a lot of these online. And um, I think they're a lot of fun to watch, and hopefully you'll enjoy this one. Um, so far, I have my piece of art ready to go. And um, this is just something that I just kind of put together specifically for this. Um, I actually haven't scanned it, so... Hopefully I'll like the way it turns out, because otherwise I don't have another chance to color it. Um, but so these are my Copics at this point, and I don't have a whole lot. Um, I only got a 24 set. I got a custom set made with um, periodstyle.com, which I like them because they'll let you choose a custom box set, so you'll get the box that they come in, um, but you get to pick and choose all the colors that go into it. Um, so for the challenge today, I'm only removing the colorless blender. Um, because that is a complete non-color, and so I don't think it should count in the challenge. And, um, just so you know, there are no hard and fast rules for the three marker challenge. It's not laid out in stone anywhere, so, um, sorry guys, if you disagree with that, that's what I'm going yeah. with. So, here's our jar. Make a loud racket. And here we go, scrap fabric and a bulldog clip. And then I will also cover and look away. And I'll mix this up and I hope I don't knock it off my desk. We've got one. Two. terrible. It's a little bit of my alma mater. Go waves. Um, we have YR68. Let's see here. YR68. Let's zoom in there. Trying to get it. Orange. We have W1 Warm Gray. And we have B99. It doesn't want to zoom in on anything, does it? Uh, but you can see it kind of uh, B99 Agate, which I really like this color. It's a nice navy. Um, so yeah, I think it'll work. I think I'll be able to kind of pull that together and um, we'll have some fun. So what you see here is I'm basically just um, doing some tests to figure out exactly how the colors relate to each other on the paper. Pretty quickly I realized that the gray was a little bit lighter than I initially expected, but that seemed about right for her skin color. Um, so I used that. Um, I really liked how, even though it's this pale gray color, it still had this kind of lifelike quality to it. Um, and it all went in very nicely, very smoothly. And I was able to use layering of this gray in order to get those shadows that I wanted um, without having to resort too much to blending and too much blue. Um, but you see laying in that first layer for the flat color and then going in with that same gray again worked quite well to get that little bit of shading, that little bit of flesh and curvature and everything that it needed. I pretty much immediately decided that that orange was going to be her hair color. Um, it came out very nice and strong, very much a strong ginger redhead color. Uh, in the beginning I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to just do the flat orange or if I wanted to do maybe a little bit of a, a blue ombre near the end, but um, at a certain point I decided that the orange was really what I wanted to go for. But I'm coloring essentially section by section in order to make the brush strokes work for me, because um, sometimes the, the marker is just going to leave certain certain streaks, certain lines, um, but so you can just make that work for you to show directionality and so forth. It was right about here that I decided that I didn't want to do the ombre look, that I was just going to stick with the one, the one color all across. I do kind of wish that I had worked a little bit more with that brush tip to make, um, uh, basically use, leaving some white spaces in order to show highlights on the hair a little bit more. I just 
I didn't quite think of it while I was working in it. And I will warn you that unfortunately while I was recording this the video cut off and I didn't know it so I, it doesn't show the very end of, of some of the shading and work but I'll explain kind of what I did um, to finish it out later. Here what I'm doing is I'm using that warm gray to pick up some blue um, from the B99 because I, I, the blue was just a little too dark for that flower. I use it for some accents, but um, it was a little darker than I thought I could really work with. So I'm basically using that warm gray like you would use a blender to pick up a little bit of color um, and work it in as a lighter shade. Uh, here you can see how, how very dark that that B99 really is. Um, but so obviously that's where the video cut off. I used the warm gray to pick up that B99 and do the feather the same way that I had done the flower. I also used the warm gray to pick up some orange to add to the flower and some light colors as well as on her lips. Um, I also used the warm gray to pick up some of the, that B99 for shading in her hair, shading on her skin in the dark areas and also finally for her eyeshadow. And I was very happy with how everything turned out. I actually really, really like this piece um, and how the colors really work together, warm and cool. And just create that, that movement and depth that I wanted. So I was very happy with this and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Thank you.